emotions I'm hoping Not the type to try and double back Twice But you had me running right back Back I'll be coming back to back, yeah Play it by your neck, yeah Tell you all your back, yeah What's up, y'all? Uh, welcome to the mud freaking maintenance vloggy vlog. Um, this is a little bit different than the rest of my maintenance vlogs because usually I'm getting a wig, a full set of lashes. This is a lot more calm. Now, this is like a real maintenance, like keeping up with my lashes, getting my nails done, hair touched up, little stuff like that. Not the whole, you know, the whole, yeah. I just came from getting my lashes done and they look good as usual. Stop playing. This is a weird angle, but this is gonna have to work. I'm on my way. I'm about to be on my way to my wax appointment. Um, getting a Brazilian and I'm getting my underarms waxed. But I have a little time, but I'm not gonna turn around and go back home because if I go home, it's gonna be time to head up there. And I only got like an hour and a half. So by the time I get up there, I'll probably have like an hour to just do whatever. And I wanted some sushi, and that's what I was going to get ready to do. Because if I can eat some sushi before, then be on my way home. Because I do have to be at school tomorrow. So that's where I'm going to go now. I keep saying I need a car tripod. I need it so bad. I'm going to get one. I'm going to have one soon. Hopefully. Yeah, real fast just to take it slow. Yeah, came out of there feeling like a brand new. No, but like getting the wax just makes you feel so like uh, I don't know how to explain it. Hey y'all, it's game day. Period. Today is the first home game of the season, and I wanted to do. I gotta keep holding my camera out like this because it's so zoomed in, and I be like talking with half my face cut out. But yes, it's game day, and I wanted to make a game day vlog. I have to be back at school around, I have to be on the field at 6. They're having team dinner at 4, but I'm not eating anything. So I probably won't be there until like 6. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to like take y'all with me like on a game day so y'all like see how hectic it is. I don't have a 7th bell. I get out of school like an hour earlier than everybody else so i had to make a stop at the bank i went and got me some starbucks because starbucks is right next to the bank and i got a little gift card so i'm gonna use it now i have to go ship out this order a lot of y'all might not know i sell my used wigs like i do hair promos a lot on my channel if you're a subscriber of mine you probably know that and i know y'all be getting sick of them but it's a great it's a great source of income for me and I be making money, like, doing them little wig installs. But I got so many wigs to the point I don't need them. Like, they just sit in my room and collect dust, basically. But I'm going to just sell them for real cheap because affordable wigs are kind of hard to come across. And everybody loves a good wig. So if I got one that I'm not wearing no more and that I don't want no more, I'm going to sell it. And not for too much. I just sold some 30-inch wigs for... $150 that's worth $600 yes I sell my wigs very cheap because I just want them off my hands and out of my space like I'm running out of room I still have I've sold a lot of them and I still have a bunch of hair left and I need a gone so if you want a wig watch out for my Instagram story or DM me because I have plenty left I don't have any 30 inches or anything like that anymore those are the first ones I sold and they sold really quick but I got some cute little Quick little wigs, you know, still wearable, still cute. Just not no 30 inch bus now now. I don't got no more of those. But when I do, look out for my story. I post them at random times. You gotta be ready. You gotta be ready. You never know when my ass gonna drop. Let's go take this to the post office. I 
get away, baby. Cause and fix all of our places. Ain't no distraction. All about that action, bro. I hope you're not wasting my time. I'm back home from shipping out that package. I'm going to spend a couple of hours editing, maybe like an hour and a half, hopefully two hours. I just need to get this one video finished because it needs to get out and uploaded. Then I'm probably going to like get in a shower and start getting game ready. I don't know if I'm going to do my makeup because I kind of want to take pictures today because like first game, hello. But I don't want these fugly ass scars in the pictures. But when I say I'm going to do my makeup, I do concealer and highlight. That's my makeup routine, literally. I edit on my phone. If you're wondering what I use to edit, I use KineMaster 6. I used to use KineMaster 5, but, like, it has bugs. And they fix the bugs. And KineMaster 6 is way better. And with KineMaster 6, you can delete the footage out of your photos. And it'll still be saved on the app. Which is crazy because I always had that problem. There's been so many times where I had a whole part of a vlog like edited and I accidentally deleted the video clip of that part and it just erased from my video and I would get so mad. But with Kai Master 6, I don't have that problem because everything is already saved. Kind of like in your iCloud. Think about it like that. Everything is saved even if you delete it from your phone. And I'll check in with y'all when I'm done with this. So, I'm getting ready to go buy a phone case. Why? Because I broke my phone yesterday. Yes, I broke it. The screen is destroyed. So, this is what it looks like. Beautiful, immaculate, amazing. It's tweaking the fuck out and it's been making me really upset but i ordered a new phone and i have to freaking wait until wednesday for it to come because i was gonna do order it online go pick it up at the store same day but of course apple none of the apples near my house have that exact phone available so i have to wait two days and i have to be without a phone for two days we love that but um yeah so i'm going to get a phone case and a screen protector the most indestructible thing i can find because it seems that I'm always cracking the screen on my phone. And would I pay for this phone that I just bought? I don't need that. I don't need those problems. I don't need to spend that extra money. I'm good. Thank you. So I really want to find a screen protector that covers the whole entire screen and doesn't leave that awkward space on the edges because that does nothing but leave room for cracking. Like, as y'all can see, y'all see that little crack right there? It's in that awkward ass gap. Just make the screen protector so it covers the whole phone, like, be for real. Like, you can literally see the inside of the phone. The screen is like... Anywho, um, but it locked itself up, and I was going to see if I could use my hotspot on this phone. I have a couple of different phones, actually, and you're probably like, why aren't you using those? Well, they're not really usable. Like, this one, completely fly. They're not really, like, usable the way you would think they are. I think I'm gonna wait 12 minutes see if I can get the hotspot to work on this so I don't have to drive around in silence. Can't wait till Wednesday so I can get this freaking phone. I really, 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 really wanted the 14 but as y'all can see I can't really wait so I have to go ahead and buy the 13 Pro. It is what it is. At least I got a new phone. I won't be upgrading for a mighty long time. I will not be upgrading like I don't really care to upgrade my phone every year because it's like the same thing every year. don't like coming to this target because i always see somebody i know like somebody i used to go to school with somebody that goes to my school there's a bunch of people that go to my school that work here but i didn't feel like going out the way to go to target so i came here 
People see a camera in your hand and get to staring on hard like, girl. But I got this privacy screen protector. Then I got this case. Um, I had an all clear one before, so I was like, and I've been wanting this one for a while, like, and it's sparkly, so I had to have it. So yeah, and the clear one was more expensive. I think the clear one would have been a little more protective, but I can get that anytime. I just needed something quick that I could put my phone in right away when I get it, so I might end up changing the case real soon, but that's just for now. And I spent 97 fucking dollars. That shit is OD expensive for no reason. $97 even. The phone case was $45 basically, and then the uh, screen protector was $45. What the fuck? This is why people shop on Amazon and they don't go to Target to get shit. And I think it's people watching me in their car talk to my camera, so I'm gonna go now. The wait is over. My phone is finally here. I'm so freaking excited. And I'm gonna unbox it on camera with y'all, cause yeah. Okay, that was kind of a fail, but it comes like that. No fingerprints. I'm putting it right in the case. Then in here it comes with all the regular stuff like the Apple stickers. Then a little charger. I gotta go get that fast little charge box. And that's all that comes with. This is a privacy screen protector. It's literally so cute, like, I can't. What's up, y'all? Um, yeah, she's set up. She is really motherfucking cute. Period. Real fast. Um, I backed it up with my iCloud, so it looks just like my old phone. I just changed my wallpapers, and I got all my pictures and apps on there already. So it's really freaking nice. This is the 
um, phone case, little sparkles. It's an Otterbox symmetry case. Tried to get something protective but cute, but I'm about to buy a life proof case. And within the 60 days here, I'm gonna get um, Apple Care on this phone because I'm a little rough on phones and it's not on purpose. I'm just naturally rough on phones. I don't know why. So now, what I'm doing basically is get ready for tomorrow. Um, my bedtime is 8.30 because I have a really hard time waking up in the morning and I have all of these unnecessary papers this day. So I'm trying to say where I just record. I need to be recording because that's footage, bitch. Duh. I have to carry this heavy ass computer. It's about 20 pounds on my back, plus my emergency kit, another 20 pounds. Back there immediately. <laughs> yeah. Back my practice clothes because I got workouts and practice right after school. Ugh. Annoying AF. My practice chair shoes. I got ones for game day and a practice pair, and then like two more practice pairs. But I only need a practice pair. I need something comfortable to wear to school tomorrow because I'm freaking cramping. I was gonna say it's probably TMI, but if you can't handle me saying I'm cramping, then you might wanna click off. Um. Cause if I got a cramp, I'm gonna say I got a freaking cramp. And who's gonna check me? I'm wearing this shirt. I have a video for this company I need to get done. And it's kind of like an outfit video, kind of. So I need something that's gonna go with the jewelry they sent me. Oh, not these pants. Well, these pants might actually work now that I think about it. Maybe. I need to lose 10 pounds immediately. Cause why did I gain like 10 pounds? Wait a minute. I freaking hate this. Like what's, my room be looking pretty damn, I mean, let me stop cussing. My room be looking pretty decent. And so I look at my nightstand, like what's really going on over there? Like what's really good? Like it's just so discombobulated right here. Cause some pounds gonna catch up. They show this, I knew my face looked a little round. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I almost forgot I was supposed to vlog. So basically, we are coming with me to Tumbling. I'm gonna have this back handspring. One thing about it. I'm gonna get this back handspring. I don't care how long it takes. I love my micro links, but because of games, I sweat my hair out so easily. It is so freaking annoying. When that happens, because then I can't wear my hair down. Like, it's just a mess. Ow. I 
post up and that's comforting. I boast up in a drop six and a ghost rust and I pop shit. I'm a dope boy with that cot trip. I came in the game and had crack on. Got baby on my back with some echo. I'm single and shit, now she lash on. I told him I'm back on about you. I get focused on millions and everything. I just took me a trip out to Africa. See how we came from the mud and the bottom. I see how they counted this. I bet they never gonna do it again. You see why they think it's me. Hey, they know I'm going right in. Sorry, am I as camera? Hey. 